All right, welcome to Lendo Podcast Inside the Store Culture Talk with Abubakar. Godobi. <laughs> hey, what's the other Godobi. name? Godobi. Godobi. What yeah. is that? Uh, it's my granny's name. and uh, What does that mean? It means somebody who is successful business-wise. Wow. Somebody who is too into business and is, sex- is a successful person. That's nice. Doing that business. Ruth, a.k.a. Malexi. That's the popular name. Yeah. How did you come about that name? The Malexi, I guess. Yep. Okay, I, I think I came about it when I got the name Malexi, Ruth. And I have another name, Maleme, which I, I'm not happy talking about it because I don't really like the name like that. What? Maleme. Maleme. It yeah, sounds like it's a South a tribe African name. name. <laughs> 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 well, it's not. It's um, it's a Gombe name. I'm Tangali, so okay. it's more like a tribal name. And since I I hear people calling me with that, you have you are originally from Gombe. Yeah, originally from, from Gombe. Kumo. Yeah, Kumo, Kumo, Kumo local government. Nah, Ako local government, Kumo town. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tangali people are in Kumo. Yeah. Oh, uh, the, really? The initial origin of the Kumo. Yeah, was actually Tangali people that started staying there, and the name wasn't Kumo like that. It was Kume. Okay. And it means um, meaning I can't care. I can't really tell mm. in English, but I know it in Shuri dinner. I don't know what that is. Oh, <laughs> and I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> okay, I I I I actually thought um Tangali people are from Kaltungo, Biliri, and Shangom. Shangom. Yeah, they are. But, you know, migration now. They just migrated to the place and they started staying there. So they, so they, they were actually settlers in Kumo. Yeah, they also settled in Kumo. Okay, then with wow. time, you know. That's nice. Yeah. Wow, so your granny is a successful business person. No, I think it's just the name. <laughs> I've never met him and I don't know about any business he... Uh, yeah, he okay. pursued and he was successful at, so I don't really know. Uh, but I know his name is Godobe and... That's, so that's nice. I was told. How did you grow up? Like, what was your like childhood like? My childhood was fun mm. because I've I'm this um I'm this kind of girl that uh, more like a bully sometimes. Ah, like, yeah, I was more like a bully. So everything was that was cool. That's nice. I have like a little nephews. I encourage them to be bullies. Why? Why do you so that? that they will not bully them if they are the ones bully? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will bully them. <laughs> but it's good, Sha. I think it's nice. It favored me. Mm. Yeah. I was more like a bully. I was always around boys. Mm. I don't like being around girls mm. since day one. And I dress like boys. So You're a tomboy. Yeah, a tomboy. I'm proudly yeah. saying that. I'm proud I'm a tomboy. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you start like making music and um and why did you choose rap? Like rap. Okay, I I think I started music, uh, you know, starting from the church, mm. from the school choir, mm. that's it. So we started, I think I started music since when I was around 10. Mm. Yeah. That so was early. Yeah, that was very early. Started from the church, singing. I used to be a very good singer then mm. in the church, in school. Then later I began to, my brother used mm. to be an, a rapper. Okay. an artist too so wow. my elder brother i would i would taught born mm. so i was like i want to be like you mm. he was like you can be more mm. you get he was like encouraging me mm-hmm. but i was like oh i was thinking i was just doing singing singing because i never thought a girl can actually be a rapper mm. like it's not for females that was what i yeah. had in my head that time so but as time goes on I was liking what he was doing, liking mm. everything around, and I begin to see videos of women doing it. Mm. And I didn't even know their names, but I was seeing females doing rap music, and it was so inspiring. Yeah. And coupled with my kind of like ways, the way I behave and stuff like that. The way you look. The way I look. <laughs> you get. <laughs> you put on like. Um, Male clothes. Yeah, so it was much yeah. much easier. You were in to the like, spirit. You, ah, <laughs> I was in the spirit. Wow, that's nice. So that was it. And I started music as a career because I I don't want to be working under someone. I want to be self employed, mm. and I feel like I have this potential, this talent, something I can sell mm. out. So I feel I should just do it. And doing rap music, it's just because I want to stand out. 
Oh. I want to be different because mm. the, the singing, it's it's kind of usual thing and mm. everybody's a singer and I was a singer. I know how it feels like, but there are no much rappers, especially, I mean, the female rappers. Mm. So I just, yeah, especially around here. So how do you yeah. feel? This is a um a sport because I I suppose it's competitive for a lot of people uh, because yeah. you are trying to do it. Some other person is trying to do it and it is male dominated. It is male dominated. Yeah. So how do you feel like being in a art that is male dominated and you're a female? I feel good. That's why I brought about my EP, which is Female King. Mm. Yeah, because right now I don't see any female doing this this thing I'm mm-hmm. doing. So there's no competition between me and the females. Yeah, but you're competing with the male. Yeah. So that's why I'm a female king. Oh, uh, yeah. oh okay. Ah, I see that. I'm trying to rule as a as a female, mm. but I'm trying to rule as a king, not a queen. Not anymore. Every mm. girl is a queen and I don't want to do that queen shit anymore. Wow. So I am I, a female king. I like your <laughs> spirit <laughs> <laughs> energy. I like your energy. It's 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 rare. Yeah, it's, it's rare, rare, but it's good. Yeah. It's good. I like that you are not just looking uh at yourself as just a female person. Yeah. But like you just want to rule even if male are dominating the genre and yeah. all of that yeah. from this part of the country. The, the the world. I know what. <laughs> Let me say the world. <laughs> wow, that's nice. So, um, um, how do you, how, how is your process like? How is your creation process? Like the music creation process? Yeah. More like an inspiration. Mm-hmm. Um, what actually ex- inspires you more? Uh, everything ins- inspires me. Mm-hmm. Like conversation like this mm-hmm. can inspire me and I might just talk about it. Yeah. And... Truth be told, I've been through a lot of shit in my life. So okay. a lot of times I look at the things I've been through from an early age mm. and look at how I was supposed to have lived my mm. life. Like from the time I started experiencing a lot of problems, mm. health issues. And sometimes I just feel like to talk about it. Then looking at other people also inspire me. Like I, I see other people misbehaving, behaving mm. like just mm. reckless anyhow. Yeah. And I'll be like, I wish I was like you when I was your age. Mm. Or I I sometimes feel like, I used to think this, I used to have this feeling that there's every possibility I might die young. Mm. You get? That's, and that's some scary shit. Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> Even me, it scares me. But mm. sometimes it's the way I feel, the kind of complications I have with my health. And sometimes I just feel like, um, let me just do music. Of that particular song. Okay, I think I just wrote it in a day. But it actually cost me a damage, kind of. What's that? Uh, I, that day I, I started writing that song. That mm. I, mean, yeah. I wrote everything at a time. But I forgot that I was cooking white rice. So it got burnt. Wow. Yeah, and I was I almost got beaten for that. But I, I wrote it like in a day. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. Well, it's fine. I didn't get beaten, so nobody flogged me. So it was cool. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you could imagine what? Like like the f- the fear. Yeah. You burn the food, you wish you threw it and cook another yeah, one, but and, mom will soon and be and back. I can and imagine being your brother and hungry. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then because you were writing rhymes and yeah, you and burned the food. Yeah, you get and that time I was not serious. I was just doing it like more like just trying to see if I can do what other people are doing. How 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 your parents feel about you? Well, at right first, rhymes. Mm. at first they were not cool with it. Okay. Like my dad, my pops would be like, "You, you know, you're you're a girl, you're a lady. Mm. You're not supposed to be thinking of this. I want you to be a lawyer, mm. or I want you to be um, a mass communication, whatever, like mm. a newscaster, because mm. you can talk, blah blah." Mm. And I'll be like, "This is not what I want to be. Mm. I just want to be an artist well. doing music." And he'll be like, "Would you stop that?" I'm talking to you. You're telling me to be late. So anytime my friends call me like to come because I was staying inside Kumo. Mm. Anytime they call me over to Gombe. Yeah. And they promised to pay the TP like to and fro. Mm. It's just for me to go. But my dad always have issues with that. With that particular me going to Gombe. 
for oh. any event of any kind. So he'll be like, you're not going anywhere. But at, it's, at, it's, it's normal for parents. They, they, they just, they just being love protective? you. Being protective? They're being protective. Every yeah. parent will want the best for his child. Child. But I always say they don't always know what is best for you. Yeah, they don't. They really. don't always they, know. They try to leave their their wished dreams mm. in you. It's, you get. it's very normal. And that is because they actually love you. Mm, you think so? Yeah, that is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it, it is. It is what it is. So okay. what is in stock for us? Like music? Well, um, at the moment, we are working on my EP. Okay. that i've been i've been trying to drop like for over six seven months now we've been trying to see how we would make things work because it's been a while i dropped something mm. but because i've been in school coming back for break and mm. not feeling too well i've been down so we couldn't achieve that as as we wanted to yeah but presently and at the moment i think we are working so 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 much like when are we expecting it you should be expecting it in a week time wow from now today's sunday yeah you should be expecting it in a week time oh. it's either it comes friday saturday or that sunday but it's gonna be this week wow yeah. wow that's that's good news for that's good news for everyone and unless i forgot to say um it's an ep okay an ep of five songs and it's titled The Female King. Wow. The Female King EP. Wow. Yeah. I can't wait to listen to the songs. You should better wait. <laughs> <laughs> the Female King. Wow. Yeah. The Female King. That's 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 interesting. So what comes after that? Um, it's gonna be are an you doing album. A, are you doing a tour? Are you doing Oh yeah, of course. I should be doing a tour. Mm. I would love to do that, even though, you know, sometimes some things can ruin your plans and you'll be like, I have a change of plan, but left to me, mm. I would love to do a tour. Mm. Like the not. If you love to do it, why don't you just go for it? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. This is it's, it's something that is dying off. I think it, that should, that should be something uh, we should embrace. Like as artists down here, people yeah. don't really like doing a tour, especially um here in Nigeria a lot of our artists don't artists. even do tours and i think it's it's something that is missing people want to see you people want to like have a connection with you yeah i get people just listen to your music from a distance and you don't really get to feel like the connection so yeah and i understand. I, I, and I have this feeling like if you actually tour you get to meet new people yeah and you get to understand like like new people like yeah. you get to explore new spaces and yeah and create more yeah more awareness more, for your yeah. craft that's right yeah even even the top artists here in nigeria only very few do tours okay only very few do tours and sometimes they do tours outside nigeria so people do in america some people do in europe but and why do you think people stopped doing that maybe because they feel it's an asian thing and it's but it's helpful, right? It's 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 not really an Asian thing. It's the understanding. Like I think um the industry here in Nigeria does doesn't actually appreciate that. Okay. Or they don't even recognize it. Some of them are aware of it. The, yeah, but sometimes it's uh it's a lot. Okay. There's a lot, and uh, you need like a lot of resources to put all these things together and get to achieve. You need the right team. You need uh. You need to do it at the right time. Yeah, so that sometimes the timing is a problem. Sometimes the people that you get involved with. Yeah. And um, it's just a lot. So, so many artists just prefer to shy away and <laughs> and just do other stuff. People just want to be invited for other people's events and just come and perform and go. Yeah, I understand. And they forget they have to do their they have own to do their stuff like that. So... I don't know. Oh, Whiskey is touring. Davido is touring. Yemi Alade is touring. Like all the stop guys, they actually tour, but I don't think they do it in Nigeria. Okay. I think they don't even do it in Africa. That's bad. Maybe it's, it's not really bad. It's not really bad because I I feel um 
did think there is nothing to explore here. They need to. They've exp- already explored. Yeah, yeah, so they need to go to new spaces that people mm. don't really know about them, and that's kind of wise decision. Yeah, it's wise because this, the truth is, you cannot tour the whole world. Yeah, at some point you can't. Yeah, you cannot. Even I don't think Jay Z and Beyonce <laughs> tour the whole world. <laughs> so maybe this year you could actually decide to do it. Like um, I'm going to Asia. I'm going Next to Europe, I'm go going to, to America, America, like okay. that. And you know, there are Africans all over the world. Yeah. So it's easy for them to just navigate places. You don't even really have to do big venues. I understand. Even though I heard Whiskey just sold out O2 Arena in 12 minutes. Wow. 12 yeah. minutes. Yeah. You That's can imagine. Kind of fast, <laughs> more like a magic. Yeah. And I think O2 is about 20, 25,000. I'm not really sure, but you sold it out in 12 minutes. Whoa. So you see, that's incredible for it's for easy, us. Like, we really. have been accepted outside Nigeria. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, your EP, Kings. Female of, King. Okay, Female King. Female King. Yeah. <laughs> you don't call me no queen anymore. Nah. King. I'm not a queen anymore. You're a king. I'm a king. You're a king in this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice uh yeah. th- there's a song there's a song of um i don't re- i don't really remember the name but the song okay. came, like you have seaman on the hook okay um, I, I don't I remember think, the um, name of the song but oh, fear fear yeah that's the song i yeah. love the song thank you so much i love it too that's 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 a fire thank anytime, you very much anytime the song comes on i'm like wow this lady doesn't it's even a real know. vibe doesn't even know what she's what done she's on the song. <laughs> 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 yeah, that song ah. is fire. Then there's another song that um that uh, that that is BBC. Okay, BBC 2018 project. Okay. It was also an EP. Oh, the of BBC. Just three song. Yeah. The BBC. Yeah. Oh wow. Blessed be and curse EP. That's there's j- that, but there's the BBC song. Yeah. Yeah, that's the There's song I'm talking song. about. Like, I was aggressive on the beat. You get? Yeah. Like, this girl is hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what's as up? hard as the what's volcano. Up? Yeah. What's, what's, what's up with all of that? I just like it being, being this aggressive, being like owning my own mm. art. You get? I, I love to mean what I'm saying. Okay. I just don't want to sound like I'm just saying this because it's music. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't like that. So I'll sound like I mean it. Like okay. you heard the BBC, I was actually talking about how blessed I am mm. and how cursed people think I, I am or used to be. Yeah. So I'm trying to make people understand that I'm blessed mm. and there's nothing on this in this world or on this surface that can curse me. Mm. Yeah. I like that spirit. Yeah, so I have to... You see, that kind of song, you can't be sounding light. You have to sound aggressive. Aggressive in a way that you just be confident. Mm. Yeah, that, that was it. That was nice. It was fire too. I, Thank you. I look forward to listening to your... EP. Female King. EP. EP. Yeah, FK. FK EP. FK. EP. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So the the, the 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 EP we're expecting is in a week's time. Yeah. And five songs. Any futures? Just one future. I featured Stash. Wow. Wow. On it. One. one just Stash one, is one fire. Feature. He knows how to kill it. Yeah. He did kill it on the on that particular track. Wow. I can't wait to listen. It's it's fully. And now you're working with Seaman. So. Yeah, I'm working with Seaman. That is that is that is an incredible guide you have. No, no be small guide though. Like yeah. the guide himself. How how comes? What happened? Ah, is there anything that will happen? We've been friends for longer and um, I I really suffered like coming from Gombe and bringing my song and he'll be like, I don't record work music. And I'll be like, God, <laughs> like, yeah, you got to step up. Like there are a lot of guys doing it. If there mm. are no ladies, you got to learn from them and step up because yeah. I can't just record. And we've never talked about, um, about cash now. Nah. Mm. So I think, and I, I've always, I always feel like he 
like more he like foresee the the potential the talent mm. even when i was not doing good mm. so he just feel like to put in like work and to make me good and wow. now we're just working i'm his artist mm. and he's my manager oh yeah that's more like a, a teacher a mm. producer a manager that's nice yeah very and, nice uh, i i i i i've work with Simon closely and I know how he actually behaves to stuff that is not good. Yeah. <laughs> you can relate. I'm glad. Yeah. So Ah good. I, I know he's is a perfectionist, so Yeah, he I can, is. I can imagine what to expect from your from your from my EP. From your project, your yeah. FK. From my FK EP. Your FK I like that. King um Female, Female King. King. Don't worry, you get used to it. When yeah. I start ruling and you start seeing my crown shining everywhere, you will I, I, remember. I can see the crown. I love your dreads. <laughs> Thank you. Very so much. colorful. Yeah, colorful. You, 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 your, your dread looks like uh, you know, six nine. Six nine. Six nine. Six nine. Yeah, I do. He has a very very colorful. Colorful. Yeah. <laughs> so now so um, it reminds I'm more me like, of you. Am I six nine? No. No, you are. No. You're FK. I'm FK. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's nice yeah, I'm yeah. FK. so I, I want you to come back after the project is out okay so that we can actually cool. review it because the, the, okay. right now there's there isn't a lot to talk about because because we are anticipating, we are anticipating the project so yeah. fk is out in a week and we can't wait to listen to the and five I fire tracks wait. i can't wait for you to listen to yeah i would like love to, to listen be. i'm going were, to do a review okay at the first listen okay i think um the night i'm dropping it i should send you the link first yeah i would i would <laughs> love to have it first <laughs> i would love to have it first okay all right so, yeah so uh, i want to thank you for coming um to this like way i really appreciate that you actually decided to stop by i was talking with sima and i want you to come someday and yeah you're here and it actually feels um i don't know how to explain it but i i, I appreciate i'm from gombe and i'm doing a yeah a I, podcasting bouchy yeah like with Lemuel knight the street mm. legend ah uh, I'm not a street legend anymore. I'm a superstar. <laughs> <A> superstar <laughs> <mental. laughs> Forgive me, um, I just forgot. I'm no. a superstar. Yeah, you, superstar you know, you mental. know what happened? Like I, 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 like I got into trouble with people because I started calling myself superstar, and it's not really like a big deal, though. Why? I'm, I'm living my best moment. My dear, live your best. That's that's the best you can I'm do. I'm not going to wait for anybody. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> not even me. Yeah, I'm a superstar. Yeah. So that is what it is, man. So um, after the project, I hope we find time to do this again. Amen. And there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, there is. Really. Mm-hmm. I feel like there is a lot to talk about. So Malexi is it Malexi? Malexi? Malexi. It's M-A. Okay, it's Ma. ma. L-A. Yeah. Mal- Don't, then Malex- X X Y, so Malex- it's Malexi. Malexi. Yes, that's the, the real pronunciation. King. The female king is in the yeah, building. Yeah, baby, you can <laughs> shout that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming, Culture Talk inside the store. All right, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs>